welcome back. I'm Courtney and this is The Accounting Struggle, where we speak about our struggles with accounting openly and honestly. We do not run from them. And before we get started, I just want to say if you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. If you enjoyed today's video, of course, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button. And um, if you are returning, thank you so much for being here again. It's great to have you. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about when is the best time to sit for the CPA exam. Should you do this right out of college or should you wait a couple of years like once you've gotten established in your career my short answer definitely do not wait it out take it right away and there's a number of reasons why I feel this way and this is something that I've done extensive research on um, and I just I feel very strongly about these opinions and I don't think that it's super case by case I feel like this is a sweeping like this just fits in most scenarios um, the reason why I think number reason number one why I think you should take it right out of college is because when you are coming out of college usually if you're going into public accounting there's a lag so if your job is you know you graduate in May you know early or mid May and then you don't start working until like October you have about four months or so to really knock out a significant portion of the CPA exam. So yes, I definitely think because you have that flexibility in your schedule, and this is not everybody's story, but this is many of the situations. If you are going to have a little bit of a lag and you have some time before you start going straight into your full-time career, absolutely positively utilize that to study for the CPA exam. Reason number two that I think you should absolutely start studying right away, like the next day, you take your, your cap off, you, you turn your tassel, and then boom, right off the stage. You get off the stage and you go to your car and you pull out your Becker materials or whatever materials you're using to study. The reason I feel that way is because the information is still fresh in your brain. So a lot of the concepts that you see on the CPA exam, most of them should be review. It should feel like review. Now, there is something to be said about how there is a bit of a gap in curriculum between, you know, the CPA exam and what they teach you in school because, you know, all schools are different, all curriculums are not exactly the same. But for the most part, reviewing the CPA materials should feel like a review and not brand new information. If you graduated with your degree in accounting, these should be concepts that you're able to, if nothing else, feel familiar to. So if you just graduated and you haven't, it hasn't been years, it's been like a month or a couple of weeks, that information is still fresh in your brain. So those concepts are able to permeate in a way that they may not be able to years down the road or even months down the road. When I started studying for the CPA exam, it was the week, I took one week off after I graduated and I went straight into audit. The reason I chose audit first is because I had just taken audit and I knew in my heart, I felt like that was gonna be one of the more difficult ones, so I should start there. And I took it my senior year, so I was like, oh, it's gonna be fresh in my brain, I'll go straight to that. And a lot of the concepts were like, oh yes, I remember this, I just did this like two weeks ago. So it was, um, it made it the studying process a lot easier and smoother. Um, now I do have videos, other videos where I talk about the process of getting started with studying for the exam, which I can link here. But yes, if you are right out of college and you just your last semester took any type of accounting courses that are related to directly related to a particular part of the exam, like maybe you took audit or maybe you took a tax course, those are the sections that you want to try and tackle first the the information is not stuff you're just going to walk around with you're not just walking down the street thinking about you know assertions i mean unless you're just that type of person but i certainly was not walking down the street thinking about like you know the nitty gritty details of an audit letter i just didn't care enough to think about that in my spare time so these are things that you want to be studying right out of college because that information is still pretty fresh. So that's my second reason for not waiting. So the third reason you wanna get started on a CPA exam right out of school is because most jobs, whether that be an industry job or a public accounting firm, typically will give you a reward, a cash reward for passing. Now I know most public accounting firms will give you $5,000 if you pass the CPA exam within your first year or maybe your first two years. Um, and they might even still give you a reward after two years, but it's just maybe half the amount. I 
I mean, it took me 25 years to pass. So by the time I did pass, I wasn't even working at my public accounting firm anymore, but I did still get a reward at, you know, the, the job that I have now. So they will, there is a, a financial incentive and in all of the money that you shell out to study, get your study materials, pay for the exam. I mean, it's so expensive, which I go over in another video, all of the process, but it can really add up. So nothing like, you know, a reward for your hard work. Nothing says good job, like $5,000. So that's a really good incentive for wanting to tackle this faster. You don't want to wait it out. If you are, you know, five or six years into your career and then you decide, you know, I'm going to go ahead and start the process. Most jobs are like, cool, good job, gold star, but we ain't giving you the money. So definitely if you can take advantage of the cash incentives, the rewards, um, definitely get that out the way. Like take it, take it as soon as you graduate, start on the process. Don't wait it out. So reason number four as to why I think you should get started right out of college with studying for the CPA exam is because a lot of jobs, especially if you're going to work for a CPA firm, they hire you under the condition of, okay, but you're going to be a CPA, right? You're going to work towards that. Um, and it's not every firm, but if it's a CPA firm, that's pretty high priority for them because, you know, it's literally a CPA firm. So if you have zero intentions of ever getting your CPA, and I mean, and that's if you're on the tax audit side, if you're in consulting, there are other credentials that they might want you to get. So if you're going into a career at a public accounting firm, that is going to be something that's usually very much prioritized. So if they hire you with that expectation and then you just kind of never do it, they're going to notice. They're going to notice. Yeah. They're not going to like that. Not going to be into it. They're going to, they're going to say something. They are. It's going to show up in your reviews. There's going to be so many comments about like, so where are we with that process? It's not something that people just don't talk about. The CPA exam is huge in the culture of CPA firms, as you might imagine. So if you are trying to solidify your, your place as a new associate in your accounting role and get your career going and moving forward, you definitely want to be a CPA or like very much on your way to that. So the process is started, you've gotten a couple of sections, the exam is at least scheduled. They want you to at least have your NTS when you get there. Like th there needs to be some type of proof that you have started on this journey and that you are going down this path. If there's not, nine times out of 10, this is a conversation they would have had with you in your interview process. But if you have zero intention of doing it, yeah, the, there's going to be a hard stop at where your career can grow in, in a, an industry role or CPA firm. So it'd be hard to really get promoted without it. Um, you can go a couple of notches up, but it, it is going to stop at around most firms. Uh, the firm that I worked for, you couldn't even get promoted to senior without your CPA. But there are some firms that will promote you to senior. But after that, you know, it's not going to manager, senior manager, you know, partner level without that um, certification. And that's the same for a lot of industry roles. They really do want to see that. So, or at least see that you're working towards it. So that's another incentive. You really want to be able to do well in your career and continue moving forward. This is something that you'll want to get nailed down very early on in your career. So my fifth and final reason as to why I think you should absolutely start with your CPA exam process right out of college and not wait it out, don't give it a couple of years, is because this is the easiest your life is gonna be. This, it's only going to get more complex from here on. Take it from me, I got a little age on me, I know how this goes, I've seen this movie before. As you go on in life, you become, you, ha you start to collect more obligations, you start to have less and less free time to do all of the things like sit in the library for, you know, 10 hours on a Saturday. You just, that isn't gonna be something that you're gonna have to, the time to really commit to later in life and it will become more burdensome the further you go on. Now I know everybody's life plans are different but the average student may graduate, if you're a traditional student, you're gonna graduate around like 22, 23 with your 150 and then you go straight into your career. So you're super young, you're like 23, 24, 
you maybe fall in love and find someone a little later in your 20s you settle down at like 27 28 you're getting married well look you had like five years to get the cpa exam done and this is a time in your life where working crazy hours is not really going to be a letdown you're not missing any recitals you're not nobody's at home waiting for you it's just you just you and your netflix so you can spend all day in the library you can go and study all day you can skip dinner and you know eat flaming hot cheetos and drink wine as your meal i did that but my point is you don't really you're not um you're not responsible for anyone's life but yourself at this point and i mean this is of course not everyone's story but this is one reason why if you are young and single and you don't have children this is the best time to get this done. Once you start having kids, your kids don't care about your exam. They just, I mean, if they're one, chances are they're not gonna care. They're not gonna be like, okay, well, I understand my mom has to study. If they need to go on a field trip or if you have a husband or a wife or spouse or whatever, some type of um, family member that you need to take care of, you know, as you get older, these are the types of things that you pile onto your plate. And as you pile these things onto your plate, going to be a lot more difficult to study for the CPA exam you're gonna have that weird parent guilt um, for like oh I can't come to your recital this weekend because I have to study like kids don't want to hear that they don't they do not want to hear it. they don't care so this is the best time to get this done and even if you're not doing the whole married and kids thing still life is just going to get more difficult you're gonna move up in your career you're gonna have more responsibility even if you're not at like a manager level as you become a senior your expectation for your performance is gonna grow and the amount of work that you have is going to grow your responsibilities there's just gonna be things in life that will occupy your time so it's best while your life is still seemingly pretty straightforward and easy especially if you're in your early 20s this is this is it this is the golden age um then yeah you should get it done now life is only going to get more difficult now i think the case can be made that if you work first before you start studying for the cpa exam you'll have that real world application when you're studying you'll be like oh this is a breeze i do this as my job like i totally can pass this here's the thing the CPA exam is not that much like real life practice. I mean, of course there are the simulations. They simulate a real life situation, a real life scenario that you would see, you know, in audit or tax or on the, on the job. But that real world application is not, I mean, it's certainly not enough to um, justify waiting this process out because and foregoing all the other benefits that I just laid out and the reason I say that is because people wait you know five ten years into their career all the time and they might be working high up in audit and run managing projects on their own and they still go and fail the audit exam it's that's not the stuff that's on the exam the exam is not hey here's here's an audit can you do this that's not 100% what the exam is. It's the actual rules. It's like, which paragraph is this part in? It's stuff that you maybe just wouldn't remember or wouldn't know. Um, and if you're working in a particular area, that's only gonna help with that area of the exam. So if you work in say audit and you've been doing that for 10 years or five years or even three years, you've amassed some knowledge and you've got this great world world application, but that's not gonna help you on the tax portion of the exam. It's not going to help you on the FAR exam. It's not gonna help you on the BEC exam. So I say all that to say that real life experience stuff is real cute, but it's not enough. It's not, it's nice. It's gonna be a nice little thing to reference when you are studying or when you are doing some of the simulations, but certainly it is not going to carry you into a passing grade. So with all that being said, I think I've made it very, very clear here that I, my suggestion is to take the CPA exam right out of college. Don't wait it out. This is the best life it's going to be. This is the easiest it's going to be. This is the cheapest it's going to be. So do it now. Don't wait. Don't wait. It's a terrible idea. Um, so yeah, and also because it can take a really long time to pass, you may think that this is going to be a four month process and it can turn into four years if you're not careful. So yeah, take it now while you're still young, while you don't have kids, while you're not married and you're not disappointing anyone or leaving anyone at home. It's just 
find that you can go and do marathon sessions in the library. So that's my advice. I hope that you found this to be helpful. If you did, of course, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe, hit the bell, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.